Hey, how's it going everyone? This is P.D. Prowlock. I'm finally back after my holiday in Benidorm. It was a great holiday, but now I'm back to do the West Ham Newcastle Road game. 2-0 of West Ham. And it was a frustrating game to watch. Not because we were all over the place. It was just a link up to the striker, especially when it's Fabi Cissé, who what you call isn't a powerful guy and isn't very fast, is he? There you go. And... Kicking it off right, Newcastle had to make one change from the Arsenal defeat. Mitrovic is suspended, and CC comes in. I was thinking, I don't think this is going to work at all, especially when you CC cannot play as a lone striker a lot of the time. And I had a feeling it wasn't going to work, and it didn't work, and I was right. <laughs> but ain't about it, right? It was just how bad was the linker player? Well, I've got to say, CC was pretty shocking the night. He was fucking terrible the night. I've got to say. In a way, especially, and I've got to say, how can CC score goals like that? Sorry, but that link up play needs to be sorted out. It wasn't working. Defence was okay. It was just a great goal and a counter attack that caught us out from a free kick. Then, in a way, kick this goal right. Here we go. Noble gets the ball on the left. I was thinking, how is he playing then? I'm pretty sure he was sent up against Liverpool, but I didn't keep up most up to date with a lot of the football news while I was away. And apparently his red card was overturned. And he gets the ball and he plays it in the pyre outside of the box. Who buried it in the top corner. Can but hey, I cannot take any way away from that. It was a brilliant strike. No keeper would have said that it was a brilliant goal. And he has may have been so far a decent signing for West Ham United. But I thought Newcastle would have tried. They tried with a lot of possession. It was just the link of play. Getting balls in the box. No one to get on the end of it. It was just very frustrating. Ugh. Just like, oh, Just like felt you, you wanted to bang your head against a fucking brick wall a lot of the time. Just, it was not good enough at all. I thought Yamat had a good chance in the first half. A uh, link up between him and uh, Anita, who... Good chance for Yamab, good save by the keeper. Should have buried that. That probably could have been a game changer if it went in. But it wasn't really, was it? And <clears throat> just no chances much after that. Newcastle just... After that, West Ham didn't have really have much of a chance either. But, you know, well, but it was just the way how our linker play was absolutely bollard. It was absolutely terrible. But... Second half comes. I thought Newcastle should have changed it at least, but they didn't. That was the problem. We've tried where we were too defensively a lot of them in it. That is the problem. Fortunately, couldn't get balls. Tarvin had a poor game as well. This is a callback. Not good enough. I thought Nia was okay. Cissé was fucking awful. Especially he couldn't get a lot of the ball. Couldn't get the ball in him. I mean. The way he was on the ball all the time, CC was pretty. Oh, he was like, oh god, what the hell are you doing? <clears throat> and now here's the second goal. Newcastle win a free kick. The free kick from Tavon was absolutely atrocious. It was a bad free kick, and it counters West Ham on it. Moses has got the ball, running all the way. Hadara's trying to pull him back. Hadara probably didn't want to because we know we don't want to get more players sent off. Fair enough. But. Maybe he could have done it, I don't know. But he ran round Tidara. He smashed it off the bar. But then who does it come back to? Payet, who puts it in the back there. It was a pretty open goal. Cruel wasn't quick enough to get there. I mean, to like to get back up on his feet after that. And it's 2 0. And it's a real task now. And I didn't think it, was, it wasn't going to get any better, was it? It just we didn't get. Couldn't get into the game. Especially with the link up play. With bollocks. Um, Newcastle did throw on Ayose Perez and CM De Jong. They thought it looked okay. It looked a bit better when they come on. CM De Jong had a decent chance. Uh, which was deflected then and over. But there was just now. So Yama had another decent chance. Again easy save by the keeper. But it was just a very frustrating game. Link up play. It was not good enough. At least we're seeing a bit of fight. We tried a bit more of attacking. It's just the link of play. The balls into the box aren't good enough. No one to go on the end. And especially, how is Cissé going to score goals? Cissé is more of a finisher than a striker, than an actual footballer. Is what I've heard a lot of the time. And I say that, and I say that as well. 
you can't see say is not one of those guys who's going to be a lone striker and score how many goals per game he's not that type of blow when he's not really a, a powerful man and he's not fast is he no he's not that at all and we've learned that we know and we actually know that the few past times we've done that and we know how it doesn't work that's why it didn't work the night and it needs to be changed especially oh uh, well but how we need it definitely need so now for next game unfortunately no excuses it needs to be changed so how I would change this right cruel in well of course <laughs> back four wasn't too bad I thought um, I would probably do this maybe drop a knee or a, a call back because it's looked too defensive lately and I would probably put CM Dion just off the striker as in people in the call what I've heard a number 10 roll which is what Newcastle have been shocking with lately been absolutely shite fucking hell man but um, what I was probably doing play CM Dion off the striker we need to see more of CM Dion especially because he can't score goals for a midfielder from one of it. He did that at Ajax. But if he can't play more games, he might become one of those players. Hopefully, if you give him that number 10 role, which is what we need. So, like, maybe, like, what you call a 4-4-1-1 four, four, one, one formation. So, like, Sissoko probably back on the right. Vinaldum and either Kolbeck or Anita with him. On the left, Tavan. CM De Jong just off the striker and if it has to be cc if not go with perez because mitrovic is still bad try it like that it might work hopefully that's what i would do like because it, as you can tell well lingo play is not good enough and we're too defensive a lot of the time and um we've got to do it we should i would do that we would do it i don't know and we've got Watford and Wexy, and we have to win this game, especially. No excuses. And I hope this excuse doesn't come tonight from Steve McLaren. Oh, well, the team turned up late to the ground. No fucking way. You can't. If that did come out as an excuse, bullshit. You can't have that. But, oh, uh, well, hopefully we can beat Watford. Hopefully the link up players got to change, especially. That's the thing. Let we're down now is the link up player, the striker, especially. When it's Papi CC, of course, who isn't that kind of player, is he? I hope you've enjoyed the video. That's the end of that. As you can tell, I'm, 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 I was so frustrated watching the game. It was just very hard to watch, as you can tell. Hope you've enjoyed. Subscribe for more if you want to. I'd appreciate it if you do. Like, comment. Facebook PD Prowler. Twitter PD Prowler. This is where I post a lot of my videos. Because you can tell me voice isn't brilliant. Because I'm really too down. I'm really too frustrated and I'm can't be off to show my fucking head off. And it was I just feel like banging my head off a wall or a door or something. It was just that hard to watch. Hope you've enjoyed and I will see you all later. Take care.